بسم الله بسم الله The truth is not subject to any experience of place or time. It's a mystery. We call it God, we call it the divine, we call it any other name you like. Now scientists are beginning to also use the quantum field as a way to allude to that zone. It's a consciousness that has no beginning and no end and no high and no low. It encompasses everything. It gives sentiency to many things. And it is there that the issue of time and space comes. This creation. It's a big, big mystery. The Big Bang, as we call it, or any other name you give it. It's all within space and time. Whereas it has emerged its origin, its root, is not subject to space or time. Eternal, constant, perpetual, and then it came contained within beginnings and ends and up and down, good and bad, he and she, life and death. Experiencing the movement of time, not experiencing the movement of time, death. These are all preludes for us to re-enter now with intelligence, with consciousness having activated and risen back into that zone of truth and eternity. It's too immense, too vast, it's divine, it's sacred. You need to be prepared for it, you need to be purified, you need to, to go for your Hajj in it, you need to lose all aspire for all, to control all, to play God, and then lose all, cheerfully, contentedly. So you have completed the cycle of birth and death. So death is the end of a cycle. There are zillions of cycles. If you look around you, you find all the time, whether it's the grass and the wind or your own saying or sentence, the cycle of beginning of voicing something and ending it. All of them are within the confines of space and time. So that we experience this little sharing in the creational interchanges, exchanges, connectedness and disconnectedness. When you have seen enough of that, then you are ready again to re-enter the zone of the potential of everything we are, which are not moving or changing in space and time. So death, acceptance of death, embracing death, celebrating death, is part of the acceptance of the limitations of space and time and the truth of the Ruh, your soul, my soul, his soul, is not subject to movement of space and time. It's eternal is sacred, is divine. It's for that reason also, if you kill one, it is the same as though you have killed all. If you have no respect for the life of a bird, you have no respect for life, then you have no respect for the life giver. Then you are not allowed to come near the door of the sacred precinct. Mm -hmm. It's all preparation to be cheerful and celebrate the cycle of your birth and death, knowing that the real you carries on and you will be subjected to other consciousnesses after you leave your body and mind. But if you are not prepared for that, if you have not been practicing it, then it's a shock and it's fear and it's denial and all of the other usual stuff.